Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm the Castle Ghetto. Today, I'm at Ardvrek Castle. Ardvrek Castle is situated on a beautiful picturesque spot at the east end of Loch Assent. It sits on a promontory jutting out into the loch, just to the left of the A837, north from Enchnadamf. This would have meant that the castle was cut off from the mainland when the water level in the loch was at its highest level. It would have been accessed by a rampart that would have been built over the thin neck of the peninsula. You can see the remains of a stone wall that marks the line of an ancient defensive wall and you can still see some traces of the original defensive ditch remaining here. The lands of Ascent lie southwest of Sutherland, 15 miles north of Ullapool, on the northwest coast of Scotland. David II granted the lands of Ascent to Sheol Torkel in 1343 in order that he raised a large maritime army to control the islands of the west coast of Scotland for the royal cause. It passed to his descendants, who eventually became the MacLeods of Ascent. It was Angus Moore, the third of the MacLeod clan, who built Ardbreak during the late 1400s. Donald Ban, the fourth, upgraded the existing rectangular block into a three or possibly four story tower house around 1571 or 1579. It would have comprised of a vaulted basement at ground level, a great hall on the first floor, a semicircular tower and main staircase to the residence's accommodations on the floors above. Inside the walls would have included facilities such as a brew house, bake house and stables and berthing areas for the boats used for sailing the lock for its abundance of nature's resources. All that is left today is a finger-like structure of stone pointing upwards to the sky. In 1649, James Graham, the first Marcus of Montrose, was reappointed Lord Lieutenant of Scotland by Charles II. In March 1650, he landed in Orkney from Norway and then moved south while attempting to raise an army of Highlanders. His efforts failed and on the 27th of April 1650, his small force was beaten at the Battle of Carbisdale. Montrose fled across the country and arrived at Ardbreak on the 29th of April, seeking sanctuary with Neil MacLeod of Ascent. Neil was away and his wife Christine betrayed Highland hospitality and tricked Montrose into the castle dungeon and sent for troops of the Covenanter government. Montrose was taken to Edinburgh and executed on the 21st of May 1650. Charles II may have been able to have saved Montrose but he chose to deny any part in the invasion so as to avoid any hindrance to his own cause. The MacLeods were politically isolated after the restoration of the Stuarts monarchy and particularly by Charles II who blamed them for the fate of the Marcus of Montrose. It was the Mackenzies of Wester Ross who were enemies of the MacLeods that took advantage of their downfall by purchasing the MacLeod debts. The Mackenzies besieged Ardvrek after claiming ownership in June 1672. John MacLeod was forced to surrender the castle along with all his ascent lands. The Mackenzies replaced their residences at Ardbreak Castle in 1726 when Kenneth Mackenzie 
had Calder House built using the stone from the castle. Calder House was known at the time as the White House as it had whitewashed walls. It was a lavish residence housing 14 bedrooms all fitted with fireplaces. The Mackenzies fell into financial difficulties by the government as they were Jacobite sympathisers and Calder House was sold to William Sutherland, the Earl of Sutherland. Supporters of the Mackenzie clan looted and burned down the house in May 1737. However, the Mackenzies were never able to rebuild it and it has been a ruin ever since. Thanks for watching and I look forward to visiting a castle near you. Bye!